بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين just a quick reminder that this coming Saturday inshallah will be the day of Ashura the 10th of Muharram and the Prophet encouraged us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to fast that day if we can and the reward for fasting that day that one day subhanallah if you fast that day then all of your minor sins from the previous year are forgiven so you find a little bit of effort resulting in this huge reward clearly it's an awesome opportunity and why do we fast on this day and by the way it's also encouraged if you can to not only fast that day the 10th but to also pair it with uh, the day before it so the 9th and 10th or the 10th and 11th and if somebody really wants to ball out and they go for the 9th and 10th and 11th alhamdulillah right it's all good and for whoever cannot fast right you're still rewarded uh, based on your intention we ask Allah to accept your intention and all of our intentions and all of our efforts I mean the what makes this day special as it relates to the fasting component is that this is the day on which Moses, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, and his people were saved from Fir'aun and his army and their collective oppression. So it's a reminder. It's a reminder of good versus evil and the fact that at the end of it all, at the end of the day, good does prevail. Whether it's in this life or the next, whether it's sooner or later, good will prevail. We ask Allah to help us to connect more with the story of Prophet Musa alayhi salam and to connect more with his legacy and the lessons that we can learn from his example in general, especially different ayat in the Qur'an, different verses in the Qur'an. For example, when Allah commands Prophet Musa alayhi salam, we find this in Surah Taha in the 20th chapter of the Qur'an, when Allah commands him to go to Fir'aun. اِذْهَبْ إِلَى فِرْعَوْنَ إِنَّهُ طَغَى Prophet Musa alayhi salam responded with dua. That was his immediate response. That was his, his go-to response. He immediately turned to Allah and he asked Allah, Rabbi shrahli sadri. He asked Allah to expand his chest. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yasirli amri and to make my task easy for me and to remove the knot from my tongue and to make him understand what I'm trying to say to make him understand my words, my message, basically, and give me support from my family, Harun is my brother, so on and so forth. The point is, so from this part of his story, you find when Allah commands him to go to Fir'aun, he responds with dua, right? And then you find when he has his people with him, and on one hand, you have the body of water, and then on the other hand, you have Fir'aun and his army fast approaching. And some people close to Musa, they, they turn to him and they tell him, Inna lamudrakun. Like, we have no chance. And look at the response of Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Qala kalla, inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. He responded saying, absolutely not. There is no doubt. My Lord is with me and he's going, like he's about to guide me right now. He said, Sayyahdeen with the scene, he didn't say Sofa. Qala kalla, inna ma'ya rabbi Sayyahdeen. No. You know, regarding this, this negativity that you guys are offering, I'm not buying it. Inna ma'ya rabbi Sayyahdeen. Allah is with me. He's about to guide me, you know, through this situation. He's about to, to guide us through this situation any moment now. And what ended up happening? SubhanAllah. Many lessons we can take from the story of Prophet Musa. There, there's a lot of wisdom that, uh, that's, that's packed into the fact that he's the most mentioned Prophet in the Qur'an by name. Alayhi salam, peace be upon him. Let's take some time to, to learn more about him. Let's also take more time, uh, take some time, take more time to learn about the legacy of uh, Sayyidina al Hussein radiallahu anhu. He also was martyred on the 10th uh, of uh, of Muharram on the day of Ashura. We ask Allah to help us to learn from each of these examples and we ask Allah to help us to reflect as it relates to Islam and even our understanding of Islam. We ask Allah to increase all of us in knowledge that is of benefit. Amin Rabbil Alameen. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Azzati Amma Yasifun. Wassalamun ala al-Mursaleen.
والحمد لله رب العالمين